Welcome again sa ating tutorial Conjugate beam method So in this method a fictitious beam is substituted to the actual beam but having the same span Now we have the principles Number one, the slope at a given point of the real beam is equal to the shear in the corresponding point of the conjugate beam Fictitious shear is equal to the actual slope. Number two, the deflection at a given point of the real beam is equal to the bending moment in the corresponding point of the conjugate beam. Fictitious moment is equal to the actual deflection. Now we have the properties of conjugate beam. Number one, the load on the conjugate beam is the M over EI, the diagram of the loads on the actual beam. Number two, free end. A free end in the actual beam becomes a fixed end in the conjugate beam and conversely. So now we have actual beam then, conjugate beam. So, yung free ends actual beam nagiging fixed end sa conjugate beam then yung fixed end sa actual beam nagiging free end sa conjugate beam number 3 fixed end support a fixed end support in the actual beam becomes a free end in the conjugate beam now for the actual beam naka fixed end pagdating sa conjugate beam nagiging free end lahat Number four, simple end support. A uh, simple end support in the actual beam remains a simple end support in the conjugate beam. So, yung actual beam at saka yung conjugate beam. So, parehas, no? Number five, simple interior support. A simple interior support in the actual beam becomes an unsupported internal hinge in the conjugate beam and conversely. So we have the actual beam. Then we have conjugate beam. So the interior support natin na roller nagiging internal hinge pagdating sa conjugate beam. So yung internal hinge natin sa actual beam nagiging pin o con or ruler sa conjugate beam number 6 even if the actual beam is statically indeterminate the corresponding conjugate beam is statically determinate now for the sample problem from the figure shown use the Conjugate beam method to find the reaction at roller support, then the slope at roller support, then the moment at fixed end. So we have the prop beam subjected to 20 kN at point B. EI is constant. Now for the requirements, we have RC, then the slope at point C. So we need to construct the elastic curve then the tangent line at point C then we have theta C no? then moment at point A so ito yung mga requirements no? so solution now we have actual beam then we have conjugate beam no having the, having the same span no? so at point a prime so gamit tayo ng property number three fixed end support in the actual beam becomes free end in the conjugate beam now for the c prime gamit tayo ng property number four simple end support in the actual beam remains a simple end support in the conjugate beam now for for the moment diagram by parts so we need to construct free body diagram of 
actual bin. So, we have RA, RC, and then moment at A. Now, for the construction of moment diagram by parts, we need to take resultant bending moment at any point. No? Pwede tayo sa point A, pwede tayo sa point B, and then point C. So, ang ginamit ko rito at point A. So, take the resultant bending moment at point A. So, we have RC times 6 over EI. Then, 20 kN times 3 is equal to negative 60 over EI. Now, apply the property number 1. The load on the conjugate beam is the M over EI diagram of the loads on the actual beam. Now, for the FBD of conjugate beam, so, ito yung itsura niya, no? So, yung moment by part natin sa actual beam, yun ang magiging load mo sa conjugate beam, no? So, we have 6 RC over EI, then we have negative 60 over EI. Now, for the requirements, for letter A, reaction at roller support. So, we have resultant of RC or 6RC over EI. So, yan ang triangle, 1 half times 6RC over EI times 6 is equal to 18RC over EI at a distance of 4 meters at point C prime so centroid ng triangle no? 2 third of 6 is equal to 4 meters now for the resultant of 60 over EI so area of triangle 1 half times 60 over EI times 3 is equal to 90 over EI at a distance of 5 meters from point C prime so centroid ng 60 over EI no? or 90 over EI so 2 third of 3 is equal to 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 meters from C prime so fictitious moment is equal to the actual deflection so actual deflection at C is equal to the moment at C prime of the conjugate beam now yung YC natin is equal to moment at C prime so since sa actual beam natin naka ruler support so, automatically, yung deflection at point C is equal to 0. So, ganun din yung moment at C prime no, is equal to 0. So, using equilibrium equation. So, summation of moment C prime is equal to 0. Considering counterclockwise is positive. 90 over EI times 5 minus 18 RC over EI times 4 is equal to 0 so EI cancelled out so yung RC natin is equal to 6 6.25 kN upward okay so for letter B slope at roller support Yun ang theta C natin. So, fictitious shear is equal to the actual slope. Actual slope at point C is equal to is equal to the shear at point C prime of the conjugate beam. So, theta C is equal to BC prime. So, theta C natin is unknown. So, pag nagkat tayo ng maliit na segment, 
from C prime so automatically yung RC prime natin at saka VC prime is, is equal no or equal no so VC prime is equal to RC prime using equilibrium equation summation of forces along y is equal to 0 considering upward is positive so 18 RC over EI minus 90 over EI minus BC prime is equal to 0 or 18 times 6.25 over EI minus 90 over EI minus VC prime is equal to 0 so VC prime natin is equal to 22.5 over EI or fictitious shear is equal to the actual slope so yung theta C natin is equal to 22.5 over EI expressed in radian So, for letter C, the moment at fixed end. So, balik tayo sa actual beam. So, summation of moment at point A is equal to 0. Considering counterclockwise is positive. MA plus 6.25 times 6 minus 20 times 3 is equal to 0. So, moment at I natin is equal to 22.5 kilonewton meter. Okay? 